on October 19th, 2017, in the calm of space, far away from the busy activity of our blue world, a telescope in Hawaii detected a slight flicker. Oumuamua, the first known interstellar object to reach our solar system, was not your typical celestial body. Something strange was captured by the PanStars-1 telescope, which is situated atop the dormant Haleakala volcano. In Hawaiian, the term Oumuamua literally translates as a messenger from afar arriving first, which underscores the importance of this finding. Oumuamua was a wanderer from deep interstellar space. Unlike asteroids and comets that are born under the gravity of our solar, its trajectory suggests that it was not constrained by the sun's gravity, making it a temporary guest to our system. Oumuamua is unique due to its origins as well as its unique qualities. Its fast spin and extended cigar shape make it unlike any other solar system object. Theories and arguments concerning Oumuamua's nature are rife among the scientific community. Is it a comet with no tail, as destroyed by an odd rotation, or is it something else entirely? These inquiries have prompted thorough scientific investigation that has produced a range of theories, ranging from the more fantastical notion that it is an extraterrestrial probe to the more realistic one that it is a piece of a larger celestial body. Similar to the first time someone recognized the Earth is not the center of the universe using a telescope, the finding of Oumuamua represents a significant milestone in the field of astronomy. It clarifies the solar system's development and serves as a reminder that our solar system is but a small portion of a vast, uncharted territory. The necessity to investigate Oumuamua grows as it gets farther away, a faint speck in the cosmic sea. Hopefully, in the future, more sophisticated telescopes will be able to gather additional data about these intergalactic emissaries, providing fresh insights into the universe's composition and history. Astronomers have been baffled since Oumuamua's discovery by the enigma surrounding its true nature. It was once thought to be a comet since it lacked the characteristic cometary characteristics, including a bright coma or tail. Because it didn't have a discernible coma, it was classed as an asteroid. But this isn't just any asteroid. Rather, it's a long, cigar-shaped object that's unrecognizable from previous asteroid sightings. Due to its unusual design, many theories have been put up, one of which is that it's an alien spaceship. More information about Oumuamua's physical attributes can be found in scientific publications. They remark that unlike asteroids and comets, the object is tumbling instead of spinning. Currently, this state is only theoretical, but it is possible that this tumbling motion is the result of a collision with another planet. Another intriguing aspect of Oumuamua's journey is its trajectory. It reached our solar system at an incredibly fast speed and followed a hyperbolic path, meaning it would never return. Oumuamua is not like other things that are pulled into an elliptical orbit by a star. The scientists surmised that non-gravitational forces affected its course, which makes sense given the component's quick vaporization and subsequent release. Once more, though, no such gas discharges were seen which heightens the enigma. Many explanations have been proposed as a result of its rapid speed and lack of a visible coma. Some experts speculate that it might be a piece of a larger object that broke apart, while others think it might be a whole new class of object, not just an asteroid or comet. There are even others who speculate that Oumuamua could be a solar sail propelled by radiation pressure. The object's great speed is also thought to indicate that it may be a messenger from a different star system, possibly expelled by a planetary system that is forming around a young star. As a result, Oumuamua may be among the first interstellar objects to be discovered, a remnant of a different galaxy. Oumuamua's tail 
is akin to a space detective novel with each new piece of information adding to the mystery. Nothing in the solar system resembles its elongated shape. Could there be advantages to this unusual shape factor, such decreased drag or improved stability for interstellar travel? Or is it the outcome of some cataclysmic event beyond our current comprehension? The mystery is further compounded by its course. Its route cannot have been altered by outgassing, given there is no apparent coma or tail. What forces other than gravity are therefore at play here? Might dark matter or any other unidentified cosmic entity have an impact on it? Regarding Oumuamua, theories range from the believable to the fanciful. Is Oumuamua a messenger or harbinger from a different star system? The idea that it's a solar sail is especially intriguing. If validated, it may fundamentally alter our concept of space exploration and pave the way for interstellar travel powered by radiation. To study astronomical objects such as Oumuamua, astronomers use a range of instruments. A group of scientists headed by University of California, Berkeley chemist Jennifer Bergner conducted the inquiry into the nature of Oumuamua. The Cornell University astronomer Daryl Seligman and Bergner were leading investigators in deciphering the object's riddles. They are credited with creating the most compelling model of Oumuamua, which was published in the journal Nature. NASA's Hubble and Spitzer telescopes confirmed the team's observations, revealing that Oumuamua had an oddly elongated cigar-like shape and was slightly accelerating as it exited the solar system. Comets frequently experience this acceleration when the material they release repels them. Oumuamua, on the other hand, did not exhibit the kind of ejection or apparent gas and dust coma that we would anticipate from a comet. Using modeling, the scientists demonstrated that Oumuamua might have begun life as a typical water comet circling a nearby star before being expelled from the system. Up to 30% of the comet's water ice may have been transformed into hydrogen by high-energy cosmic rays, which may have become stuck in Oumuamua's ice during its journey across interstellar space. The trapped hydrogen should have released as it got closer to the sun, increasing the object's velocity. Seligman claims that the team's idea explains every oddity associated with Oumuamua. It implies that Oumuamua was a comet after all, although a peculiar one. Since molecular hydrogen is far less substantial than the materials ejected by conventional comets, it does not entrain much dust, which explains why there isn't a noticeable coma or tail. Although Bergner and Seligman's theory makes sense, it's important to remember that not all scientists agree with it. Astronomer Karen Meech of the University of Hawaii at Manoa is still convinced that the traditional comet concept could have been true. She speculates that Oumuamua might just contain a tiny quantity of dust, which would also account for the object's absence of a tail or coma. The public is fascinated by the notion that Oumuamua might be an extraterrestrial probe which is another theory. There were rumors that it might be an artificial object because of its peculiar trajectory and lengthy cigar-shaped shape. As Harvard scientist Avi Loeb proposed that Oumuamua might be a thin, flat, nearly rectangular piece of material that is a probe sent by an intelligent civilization, this notion began to take shape. Media outlets extensively covered Loeb's theory, which stoked conjecture. But scientific critique of the extraterrestrial probe notion has proven to be unfounded. Firstly, in the unlikely event that Oumuamua was a probe, it would have released undetected radiation or signals. Second, the probe's tumbling motion defies expectations for a device intended to move steadily and gather data. Furthermore, as was covered in the previous chapter, natural events can account for the object's trajectory. Oumuamua's peculiarities are explained by the hypothesis put forth by Jennifer Bergner and Daryl Seligman, 
which does not call for extraterrestrial intervention and contends that Oumuamua is a hydrogen-rich comet. The hypothesis that Oumuamua is an extraterrestrial probe is a reflection of our shared curiosity about the unknown and the potential for sentient life beyond Earth. It also serves as a reminder of the value of thorough scientific investigation, though. Though intriguing speculative notions have the potential to draw focus away from a more likely answer. Astronomers have been baffled by Oumuamua's peculiarities, but the most likely explanation is that it is a rare kind of comet or asteroid. Its lengthy voyage across interstellar space most likely changed its composition, resulting in the formation of a crust that contained the majority of the frozen gas. The Spitzer Space Telescope findings corroborate this explanation, which explains the peculiarities. Umwamwa's discovery has significant ramifications for our comprehension of interstellar objects. It implies that we have only recently started to identify a small fraction of the billions of such objects that may be traveling through our solar system. December 2023 is anticipated to mark the arrival of the first engineering camera light at the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope in Chile. October 2024 is when full-fledged survey activities are expected to start because of COVID-19-related timetable delays. When LSST is operational, it might be able to identify further objects like Oumuamua. In two years, LSST data should be fully publicly available, providing fresh opportunities to comprehend these mysterious interstellar visitors. Beyond telescopes, developments in data analysis and propulsion technology might make it possible for us to intercept and investigate these objects in greater detail. In a perfect world, a probe could be sent to meet an interstellar object, gather samples, and transmit data back in real time. Recently, approval was given to begin construction of the European Comet Interceptor mission. Our capacity to investigate interstellar objects like Oumuamua has advanced significantly thanks to the European Comet Interceptor mission. The Comet Interceptor is intended to gather information on objects outside of our solar system in contrast to earlier missions that were intended to research objects within it. ESA is in charge of the mission, and JAXA, the Japanese space agency, provides support. The project's goal is to examine a comet that may be making its first journey to the inner solar system and has not spent much time there. The project will expand upon the accomplishments of earlier ESA missions that visited short-period comets, including Hayabusa 2 and Rosetta. The spacecraft will be made up of a main unit and two probes that are intended to examine the comet from various perspectives and map out the comet's unidentified destination in three dimensions. The project is scheduled to launch in 2029 and will accompany ESA's aerial exoplanet mission into space. Once in orbit, the Comet Interceptor will wait for the next interstellar object to pass through our solar system by finding a suitable target at the position of the L2 Lagrange, which is 1.5 million kilometers behind Earth when viewed from the Sun. The spacecraft will modify its course to perform a close flyby as soon as it detects one of these objects, taking high-resolution pictures and gathering information on its origin, composition, and structure. The finding of Oumuamua marked the beginning of a new era in astronomy. How widespread are these things rich in hydrogen in the universe? Are there other interstellar objects that behave and are composed differently? Above all, how can we get ready to examine these objects more thoroughly in the future? As a portent of discoveries to come, Oumuamua has urged us to get ready for potentially equally, if not more, enigmatic interstellar visits.